And uh, I guess that brings us to the, the conference closing. So uh, for the last time this week, please give a huge round of applause to Mr. Jack Skinner. And thank you very much, Chris. And a big round of applause to Chris. Well, that's it. We'll get that mic working in a moment. Um, can I get a big round of applause for uh, Bruce and James up here? So we have one last Lucky Door prize for the week. One last prize. No, not yet. Speak up. Yeah, so one surprise one. This is not normal. It is working. Oh, it is. Thank you. Uh, this, this is not normally something that happens, but we thought, what the hell? Um, one last Lucky Door prize for the very last session of LCA 2018. Do we have a name or a series of names? We, we do have a name. Ho hopefully, can I get a drum roll from the audience? <laughs> Trong fam? Is Trong in the room? No. Oh. Yeah. Trong fam? No. It's going to have to go to, drum roll please, James Sainsbury. Oh. The start is just as important as the finish. Exactly. You know it already. Stephen Rothwell. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Congratulations, Stephen. You have won a, uh, a one-year subscription to Linux Weekly News. <laughs> so if, if you'd like to come up at the end of this, we'll be able to give that to you. And just so that everyone knows, all the other door prizes have been handed out. They, they weren't just furfies that we were winding you with. They, they are <laughs> actual things. Uh, and those tablets have been battle tested. Yes. Our Rego staff have been fantastic. Just clear the browser history. <sighs> so this is where we get to say some thank yous for the afternoon. It's been an absolutely amazing week. Um, something I'm not going to forget for a very, very long time. Um, and we're going to kick off those thank yous uh, with a big thank you to our keynotes. Big round of applause. We, we, actually, we actually have a, a little bit of something extra for the keynotes. They got the, the uh, same speaker's gift as everyone else, but we thought we loved our speakers so much that we want to give them a, just a little bit more. So if they're around, you can either feel free to stand up now and we'll deliver them, or come and see us afterwards. There is a little bit of something extra we'd like to present. Come on up. Another round of applause. And of course, as fantastic as our keynote presenters are, we know some folks have had to head uh, back to work and, and continue their magic already. Um, we have also had a charity raffle going on this week. And uh, this would be a fantastic opportunity uh, to invite uh, a very special person from uh, Code Club. James, did you want to do an introduction here? This is Kelly Tagerland from Code Club Australia. I'm terrible at introduction. Is this on? OK, good. Kelly, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, I would. Um, so I, I haven't been able to uh, join the conference for all uh, of the week like I would have liked to, um, but a few of my colleagues were here. Um, how many of you had a chance to talk to Nicola or Tom? Yeah, that's great. So um, Nicola came back to the office. She was obviously very tired yesterday. And I said, how are you? You know, what's going on? She said, 
I'm tired, but that was a lot of fun. These are our people. So I want to thank you for making us feel welcome here all of this week. Um, I want to thank James for uh, working with us and making a pointed uh, effort to get us here and to have us represented. I still get really excited when I see people wearing our t-shirts that are not part of our staff. And that's because volunteers <laughs> and advocates make the biggest difference uh, with Code Clubs. Um, we get kids that come to us from all over. Uh, they, they, they write us emails and fun things to let us know how it's going. And um, I'll, I'll share a quick story about a little girl who was not a fantastic academic performer um, and also not an athlete. She didn't really, you know, she hadn't found really like a, a place where she could kind of hang out and, and feel like she was surrounded by peers that understood her and felt like she related to. And then we got a code club going at her local school thanks to a volunteer that contacted us through our website. Um, after the first couple of weeks, she went to her teacher and she said, listen, you know, this code club thing that I'm doing, I'm really into it, but an hour a week, not doing it for me, where, where can I go for more? And her teacher pointed her toward a couple of meetups, which I'm sure that you guys are familiar with all of the, the great meetups for developers out there. She was punching a little bit above her weight, uh, but she showed up and those adults made her feel welcome. She came back in and she told her teacher, I found my people. And I think all of us know what it's like not to quite feel like you fit in or quite feel like you're welcome. So I just want to say thank you for supporting Code Club. It means a lot. And now, the point of a raffle is to have prizes and a draw. So if you'd come over here with the tickets. Very official clean hair. could draw. Can we get a big drum roll from the audience? And the first charity raffle recipient goes to... A63. A63. Purple. We're looking Purple. it up now. Oh. Purple A63. Now, we had some online sales. Are, those, are the names written on... Clinton Roy. Clinton, Clinton Roy. Roy. Clinton, come on down. Now, we'll just do a quick ticket check. <laughs> which one? Quickly, which one? Yep. Yep, let's go. Go and get your prize. <laughs> and you get to choose a prize. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. And a quick drum roll from everybody for our second prize. Tobin Harding. Oh, okay. Tobin's had to leave. leave. We'll get it to him later. Congratulations, Tobin. <laughs> and we'll turn that applause into a drum roll for... Orange A33. Sean Walker. Walker. Sean Walker. Is Sean in the room anywhere? We'll be in touch. Okay. Okay. We'll be getting the, uh, our Microsoft gift packs uh, to those two wonderful recipients. We'll be in touch with them and get them to them later. Lovely. Um, now, it's always good during these charity raffles to be able to announce um, how much we've been able to raise and how much of an impact that the Linux, uh, Linux Conf AU community can have on an organisation like Code Club. And, uh, James, can I get you over here for a moment? I think it's only fair that you should read out the figure. Uh, you read out the figure, go on. That's okay, I have a microphone here. We've managed to raise... $4,249. Oh wow, so who's raising money? We seem to have... Uh, That's awesome. We'll take it, I'll take it. I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here. I just want to tell you guys, $4,000 is going to go Sorry, really far. Can you explain what this is? Um, oh. So, how much? Another 115 from the UnPDNS so last much. night. Thank you so Another much. Another 100. Guys, wow. Do we have a bag? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Is anyone doing math? That's another 215. 
So while, while, while these generous people, and, and thank you so much, thank you, thank you, I want to tell you what we're going to do with that, that initial $4,000. Um, a month ago, someone contacted us just before uh, we closed up for Christmas holidays, and they wanted to know if we could make it up to Cable Beach. I don't know if any of you have been up that direction, but it's in the Kimberley. It's very expensive for us to get to. And we said, well, what is your budget? How much do you have? And they said, look, um, we don't have anything. And I said, ah, okay, uh, we're going to see what we can do. And I promised them that I would get back to them. And now I can tell them I can send Tom for a teacher training session up in the Kimberley. And, you know, um, that just means a lot to me that I can fulfill a promise that I made before Christmas. So that's not just teaching one class. That's got... That's to go up there to teach a teacher who can teach many classes. Yeah, that's classes. right. So we usually do, we cap it at 30, and we, we try to do two teachers from each school so that the teachers have someone to support, you yep. know? And um, so the, the potential for that to move on and, and spread outward is, is really in the several hundreds of, of kids that can be impacted. Well, Martin's running around. <laughs> you seem to be hovering, Kathy. Did you have something you wanted to say? Let's invite Kathy to the stage. Hi, everyone. Cheers, James. Hi, I'm the Kathy. You know me. Um, we we kind of don't like that number very much. So the the first motion of the brand new Lennox Australia Council was to actually pass a motion to match that dollar for dollar. So, wow. If someone can actually do that math, because I can't. It's Friday, and <laughs> I'm, I'm going to like miss a bit or something. What was that, Chris? 8,400-ish. Oh, 9,000-ish. 9, 9, it's over 9,000. <laughs> Thank you. So you might I am be, so moved. <laughs> you might even be able to get a little bit further than Cable Beach. We might even be able to do that. Thank you so much, every one of you. Before I go today, since my colleagues couldn't be here, be here I'm going to be selfish and take a selfie while I'm up here so that we, have, we can do a thank you properly. Jack, <laughs> James, Sorry. do you mind? Better not the 516. Wow. <laughs> thank you again. And thank you for coming along this week. No problem. Hi, me again. Bruce and James, before you run off the stage, while we're on the topic of thank yous, I have a little something for you. Because as you both know, it's, <laughs> it's just a little Linux conference, isn't it? Just a little. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> no, that's not true at all. These guys have been working round the clock for almost two years. Uh, their partners, their families, their loved ones uh, have made many, many sacrifices as well as themselves uh, and an incredible team. And I've just got a, a little bit of a token to say thank you. Uh, Bruce first. I won't bite much. <laughs> so we have a little bit of a story. Oh wow! Thank you very much. The the card doesn't have anything in it yet, but we've used this. I, I like the card. It is a very good card. <laughs> there's, there's actually a story it about the card. It is a fantastic card. There's stickers <laughs> all over it. This is great. Um, there's no actual thank you cards left in any of the supermarkets within a <laughs> two-kilometer radius. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that you looked. So we did what open source people do best and we compiled one from source. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Bruce, tomorrow you should get um, an email using this new technology called the internet. And uh, we're, we're going to send you and your family where, where you would like to go in Australia. So you deserve it. Wow, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you very much. And James, you don't get out of this so easily either. I, I only have cats. I can't. <laughs> you also get a fabulous handmade card. And we heard you're leaving the country. I am. I'm going to another little conference called FOSDEM. It's going to be much colder. Do you, do you have a suitcase by any chance? Uh, I've got one from a few years ago. We think you might need a new one. <laughs> so I'm, I'm from Geelong. Which okay, is the bag Melbourne. is not going to work, but there's a crumpler voucher. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. 
come here, guys. Oh. <laughs> I promise that wasn't a code of conduct violation. very much. And I'll hand back over to Jack. So I'm going to make him run. Run, Jack, run, run. Walk slowly because that's OHS. Yes, sorry. Thank you very much. Now, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Linux Conf AU is an adventure. And I think it would only be fair to introduce uh, Stephen Sykes to the stage, Stephen here, um, to tell us a little bit more about that adventure. <laughs> now that would be an adventure, although I would welcome the cold after this week. <laughs> Do you have a microphone there? Yeah, I'm wired up. up. I'm ready, ready to go. Right, I got shoulder tapped a wee while ago about finding somewhere that would be suitable to um, hold an LCA, which is no small feat. Um, so um, I thought, okay, yep, I can probably um, have a look around. Um, so welcome to the part of the show where um, 600 plus people all sit together in a room unanimously contemplating the answer to a unanimous question, where is the next LCA? And I thought, well, it'd just be easy if I just stood up here and said, hi, I'm Oprah and you're all going to Disneyland. And I don't think anyone would, um, would have a problem with that. So um, I thought, well, I hear that computers are good at searching and looking for stuff. So I thought, never send a human to do a machine's job. So I thought, let's do that. So um, if I could have my laptop um, display up, up there, please. Okay, so what I've done instead is um, come up with um, a bit of software. It's a bit rough around the edges. Um, and it's an AI system which, over the course of the week, has been um, analyzing all the audio of the conference and takes into account um, Linux, open source, um, community, and well, community is just a fancy word for extended family. Um, so you should never use um, a big word when you, a diminutive one will suffice. <laughs> so so um, when I was looking at the data and I graphed it and I thought, oh, there's a bit of bias going in here because I think it m must have um, heard Kathy say the word Antarctica too many times. So it's probably going to bias the results. So when I run this, don't be surprised if we end up going to Antarctica. So I uh, hope you've got your, um, got your woolly socks on. So um, let's see what we can manage. And if you're afraid of a, using a terminal um, and you're more of a GUI person, um, I suggest you, you know, have a crack at playing with the terminal. And if you want to find out what kind of cool things you can do, I suggest you sit down at some point and watch all of Mr. Robot. So let's, um, let's see what this thing can do. So it's a, it's, a, it's a Python GTK app. So we're going to install an LCA from scratch. And um, so what we ought to do is tell it what year, because if I leave this thing running, it could be doing it forever. So um, Let's, let, let's see what this, uh, this bad boy comes up with. Can people at the back read this? Not so much. Hang on a second. If I do this, here we go. How about that? Okay. Okay, well, if you're having trouble reading that, then there are progress bars and dialog boxes going to come up. So um, I'll read them out for you, and hopefully I can keep up with as quick as this thing goes. Because, you know, things take variable time, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. You, <laughs> you know how it is. Okay, should we do it? Okay, let's rock. Checking year. What? It's valid. That's good. No Armageddon. <laughs> okay, so, oh, here we go. It has gone for Antarctica. Oh, Antarctica, here we come. Here we come. Still got to analyse the climate. 
analyzing the wildlife. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, Hulk zombie looking penguins could be a problem. Analyzing amenities. Oh, frozen toilets. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Um, right, green Hulk like zombie penguins and toilets made of ice are one thing, but the poor internet connectivity in Antarctica is intolerable. We can't have a conference here. This is not negotiable. Click OK to proceed with finding an alternative venue. See, one, one of the, one of the, the things, because you know, there was a lack of time, I thought, well, I have to, you know, sometimes when you're trying to be a decision maker, you sometimes, you just have to say, right, we're doing this, and no correspondence shall be entered into. So um, the software does kind of, the AI engine, if you like, has a bit of a um, um, tutorialism kind of attitude, which um, can never go wrong when it's making decisions for the masses now, could it? So, um, right, I suppose we'll move on. At least it was kind of polite, wasn't it? Right, alternate venue. Oh, that one didn't take too long now, did it? Preliminary checks, well that's... Oh. <laughs> so who's in for Disneyland? Looks like LCA's having a gap year. <laughs> yes, Disneyland. Oh, oh, right, seems the city I chose has an FSCK file system but is fixable. <laughs> Click OK to rebuild it. Well, OK. That's, this seems positive. Oh, relax. Hey, my human diagnostics indicator informs me you're a bit frazzled by the system failure. Don't worry, I got this. Reconstructing roads. How FSCK is this? Well, that looks drivable. Rebuilding high speed commuter rail network. Oh, we get a tram. <laughs> Upgrading the airport. Well, it's handy when you want to fly places. And a hot air balloon. <laughs> Ferry services. Well, they're good when you want to go in the water. And a kayak. <laughs> or get punted along, perhaps. Installing a playground just because. Well, that's always a fun thing to do. I bet you that slide's hot on your backside on a hot summer's day. <laughs> Human compatible climate. Oh, they have friendly penguins. Oh. And really humongous little birds. I don't know where this place is, but it's sounding pretty good to me. And they have grass. And a high speed commuter rail neck, we're going through the CBD. <laughs> and a cathedral, probably made of cardboard. Oh, repaired. Well, that didn't take forever. The city is coming up. Oh, please wait. Oh. Okay, I, I kind of lied, I knew it the whole time. <laughs> but you know what this means? If your name's Michael Farrell, you can come to Christchurch and get a Metro card to make it work with your Metro Droid app. <laughs> well, I can send you some ahead of time, so by the time you come, it'll work for everyone. So, so yeah, there's some contact details. Our theme is Linux of Things, which is a play on Internet of Things, so we've got an LOT turning into an IOT, which is a bit of an LOL. <laughs> so um, there's a bit of IOT stuff in the LCA this year, I noticed, and depending on whose statistics you want to go by, by the year 2020, there's going to be 20 billion plus IOT devices out there, which does not take into account smartphones, tablets, laptops, etc. So this is a really, really big thing. So as well as all the other cool LCA um, talks we have, Linux of Things is what we're um, going to go with. So this is us, come to Christchurch. We are looking forward to being your host. Thank you.
Now that certainly is adventures in conference development. Uh, but that's not the only conference that's coming up. Uh, I'm super excited to be able to share with you uh, that we have, and we can jump slides if we could, uh, AV Magic, to PyCon AU. <laughs> Uh, now, I'm a little bit biased. I might be a little bit involved in uh, PyCon AU, but I want to give a huge shout out to Katie and Katie, who are our uh, conference chairs. Um, it's going to be hosted down at the ICC in Darling Harbour. Uh, you would have wandered past there if you uh, walked down to the Penguin Dinner. Uh, it's on August 24 to 28, and I am super excited to be able to share that the specialist tracks will include our absolutely iconic DjangoCon, uh, an education specialist track, a new an IOT uh, specialist track, and, and I know this will be super exciting for everybody here, a security and privacy specialist track. Uh, so keep an eye out on PyCon AU. Uh, we'll be announcing CFP very, very shortly. So if you had a lightning talk that couldn't quite make it to stage, polish it up as a, a PyCon AU submission, and I look forward to seeing you all in Sydney in August. So who wants some really cool figures from the conference? Come on up. We'll get Bruce and James back to the stage. Alrighty. So, so each year, we, we present some informative stats about various things that we have consumed and done throughout the week. Uh, so the first one is the coffee. So I am a bit of a coffee addict, and we had over 2,000 cups taken of coffee. Uh, we say over. We're still counting this afternoons. So well done, everybody. Um, what else? What other stats do we have coming up there, Bruce? Uh, if we move this, yes, presentations, fantastic. I knew that was coming. Wonderful. Uh, in the main conference, we had 80 talks, 8 tutorials, 12 mini comps. There were and the videos. How many videos. We're waiting for video stat, but we've had the majority of those videos already up. Yes, I, I did see some massive numbers. It was over 150, I believe. And that includes all the mini comps. So we, yeah, when you add up all the videos that we recorded on the mini comps as well as the main conference, that's a lot of video, and the speed with which they go up is just gets better and better every year. It is phenomenal. Um, so we had a huge array of attendees uh, join us this year round. Uh, we've had attendees from twenty countries in total. Um, we hit seven hundred ish plus or minus one or two total. 578 Australia, 40 from New Zealand, just as many from the US, um, nine from Great Britain, six from Canada, six from, uh, five from Singapore, and the rest from uh, lots of other places. <laughs> um, now we are, as a community, uh, bandwidth consumers. Aren't we just? Um, over the last few days, we have downloaded over 1.8 terabytes of inbound data. <laughs> See, venues don't when we approach venues, they don't believe us when we say, we use a, just a little bit of data. Um, we, we do indeed. Now, yes. the, the fun part, uh, just a couple of stats. Uh, the peak of that traffic was on Wednesday afternoon, uh, where here in this building we hit 230 megabits down at one point. Um, now, I would like to say thank you, because this morning, uh, I gave a shout out to the switch outside to stream and download videos from the mirror and, and specifically said that we should avoid doing that on the Wi-Fi. And the second largest spike in traffic was approximately 10 minutes after that <laughs> in this room <laughs> at 140 megabits per second. Um, so we are certainly bandwidth consumers here at LCA. Yes. So uh, keeping on with network stats. Uh, we we counted 1,321 unique devices connected to the network. For a conference with about 700 people, that's, that's not too bad. And that's a lot of you trusting two devices on a public Wi-Fi network. <laughs> um, the website, we had a huge amount of traffic this week, didn't we, James? Yes, we did. So Monday, a week before last, we got about 300 unique visits to the uh, front conference website. Monday this week, that jumped up to about 1,800. I think that's also got to be down to the schedule as well. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, we also have done a huge number of sales online this year, which has, has been uh, hugely helpful uh, for the accounting in back of office. We sold around 50 tickets after Monday. 
Wow. Um, and we have been very busy on Twitter. Um, here's a quick uh, cloud that came through. I did want to give a specific call out to uh, both Jess as, and Martin, who made it up there by name. Congratulations. And Karen. And, Karen. and Matthew Garrett. Now, this sort of a function would not be possible without so many awesome sponsors. And we're going to go through them. So I would love a huge round of applause. And we've got a big clap going. We want to give a huge shout out to our Emperor Penguin sponsor, IBM. Our venue sponsor, UTS. Our King Penguin sponsor, Arnet. And our Royal Penguin sponsors. Keep it going, everybody. Our Adelie Penguin sponsors. Outreach and Inclusion. Our Fairy Penguin sponsors. Our coffee and catering, all that awesome food and coffee. And our in-kind sponsor, I'm Tomu. That was one hell of a week. And I'm so glad we were able to put it on. Um, without our sponsor's help, these sorts of functions are dramatically more expensive uh, to host. And so it's, it's not possible without their assistance. Yeah, I'd like to give a special thank you to Tanya Walker. Um, she was the artist who did the, all the artwork for last year's conference, and we've engaged her to do this year's as well. All of the good bits of this sign are because she's great, and all of the um, slightly dodgy bits are because we're not so great at designing banners. But she did an excellent job with the artwork. Um, all of the artwork, including the branding guide she designed for us, which tells us how to use the artwork, will be available in Creative Commons licensed tomorrow. Awesome. I'd also like to give a very special thank you to some of the staff at UTS who've really helped us out over the last 18 months as we've been talking to them, but especially in the last three months as preparations have ramped up. Um, in particular, uh, David and Hazal from UTS Security have really helped us by making sure that on a public holiday when normally every door in this place would be locked down, they've extensively walked through what needs to be open and where and made sure we could access it. Um, and Hazal has been here all day, every day, all week to deal with any issues that came up. Um, Karen and Michelle from the Facilities Hire team here um, have done an amazing job helping us walk through all the logistics and planning and making sure we had everything in a row. And there were so many times when they came to us and said, hang on, you said you're going to do this there, and that doesn't make sense because you're going to need to do this and that. We could not have done this without their help. And Hannah and Courtney from the Aerial Function Center here, who've done the morning and afternoon teas all week, and catered the PDNS last night, did the barbecue today. Uh, we approached them and said, we've got this many people coming and we'll need these things. And they just, they generated like 43 different run sheets for each different event that they were doing for us. And it was an amazing amount of work. And of course, uh, to our speakers who have uh, really put on a fantastic show this week. Um, I believe we had over 200 presentations. That, that does sound about right. Uh, once we include all the mini comps and everything, and of course, the conference would not be what it is without the speakers and their efforts that they go to in doing their presentations. It's why we're all here, and a big round of applause for everyone who has been involved this week. And of course, we will con we'll continue the round of applause uh, for our papers committee, who had to filter through over 400 talk submissions and 36 mini comp submissions. So if you put, uh, put forward a submission, uh, you've helped contribute to an absolutely fantastic conference. Um, they had a really tough time working through so many awesome submissions. Thank you. And please make it harder now for we'll, them next year. Now we'll keep this round of applause going because we want to shout out to our volunteer team. And a huge shout out to our, our video team. And a huge thank you to Linux Australia. Um, and a big shout out to LCAs in the past who've helped mentor and set the standard for such an amazing conference. Um, did you want to say a, a few very brief words there? Well, we wouldn't be able to put, put something on at this standard without what these people have all done before us. It's not just us, it's not just the wealth of volunteer help that we get in doing this. People have raised the bar year in, year out, and they tell us 
and give us, tell us what to do. They give us great advice. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do this either. Uh, in particular, we'd like to thank you, the, the very first LCA, and in particular Rusty, for doing that. Um, we all owe him a big debt of gratitude. Again, we would not be here if he hadn't done that very, very first one. Absolute trendsetter. Now, it's not just James and I on the organising team. There are a few others. Um, there's, uh, they're hiding off in the wings at the moment, but it, we have been working together for two and a half years. Um, we still talk to each other in a very fairly con congenial manner. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that changes in the coming weeks. Um, but a big round of applause for the other people in the, in the background that don't actually stand up on stage. If, if, if that team is able to make it on stage, we'll get you up on stage very quickly. If they're around, please up on stage. Come on up. And of course, it wouldn't be a conference if there weren't some magic happening backstage as we speak. Come on, Jamie. Come on, LT, run for it. Where's Mark? <laughs> there, there he is. All right. Thank you very much. Come on, Mark. And please continue to thank Bruce and James for their leadership over the last two years. It's been a phenomenal conference. The conference team, everybody. Have a fantastic afternoon and weekend. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.